welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Emily. Today we will be reviewing Asadria Slimes. Now this was a highly requested video and I was able to purchase on Black Friday and get an awesome deal, so I was going to be doing that. I also have uh, my giveaway going on. It's on my Instagram account. We'll have the link down below as always, including my shop. And I highly recommend you go check out that giveaway because I'm doing three winners. Now as always, if you like slime content, like slime reviews, it would mean the world to me if you you hit that subscribe button. Also, please like this video and comment down below how you liked it. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and I'm so glad to be back to talk to you guys and I love you guys. So let's get in. Oh, hey there, dude. Shout us, we got oh my slime and hello hi. You guys want to be shouted like this? Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and comment hashtag shark tank once you've done the hat. great time to purchase from Sonria Slimes because her Black Friday sale was a great deal. I got seven slimes for $67 including free shipping to Canada which was the first time I've ever received that. This took not very long to arrive which was great and made me very happy. It was in a bigger box which I was pretty shocked with because these containers were not bubble wrapped whatsoever and had about six inches from the top to kind of fly around in the box. This made me upset because it showed a lack of like care just because you know these slimes are going to fly in the box. It didn't have a fragile sticker on the side or anything so we all know packaging people, they're not going to be treating these packages delicately. Overall when I opened this most of the containers were cracked and you'll see in the clips nothing leaked surprisingly and I'm so shocked it's because they are good containers but any good container will crack in this kind of condition. The containers are park weight four ounce jars but she lists them as five ounce because she fills them to the top and they are very sturdy containers. These are 70 millimeter walled containers which means the slime is easy to get out of. This came with a nice little baggie, pink baggie filled with borax, citric acid to melt down your slimes, a business card, and some candies. Overall, the packaging kind of disappointed me and I expected a little better. Like if she packed it, packaged it in a smaller box, it wouldn't have been able to move as much and these containers would not have cracked. Let's start off with fake pumpkin pie. This is a Bingsu bead slime and it has a nice orange and yellow undertone base. This is supposed to be scented like pumpkin pie, but to me it kind of smells like cinnamon hearts. The labels are all slime proof, which means if you get slime overflowing the edge of them, the slime will not take off the label, which is amazing. She also has her label on the top of all of these containers. I noticed that the Bingsu bead slime had quite a bit of residue and kind of left my hands oily after playing with it. It did not have a lot of base in it, so this Bingsu bead slime, it honestly ripped a lot. And it got kind of annoying because I know a lot of slimers and slime shops do this where they have less base, but the slimes are super crunchy, but they rip very easily. I find Bingsu beads are kind of hard because you need a in-between of enough base and enough Bingsu beads where it's still super crunchy. Overall, I like the slime and I thought it was a beautiful color and when it fluffed up it was super orange and pretty, but I would have to give it a 4.5 out of 5 sharks because to make this slime a Bingsu bead slime for me, I had to revamp it up a little bit. I found that this inflated, but like I said, it ripped a bit. Bingsu beads are my favorite kind of slimes right now, so I could not leave the base like this. All I did was take a little bit of clear slime and just added it to this base. That way it was able to stretch more and have more sizzles 
just because there wasn't enough clear slime in my preference. When I did this, it was an easily 5 out of 5 sharks, just because you were able to stretch it without it ripping in your hands and flying across the room. I recommend doing this for you guys because you can easily customize your slime in any kind of way just by adding a tiny bit more slime to it, even from your old slime. So if you like a slime with less base from your old clear slimes, just take it and put it in there and it'll make your slime just that much better to you. Anyway, that's what I like to do and I hope you guys like that little tip. Next up is Sonria's Yams. This is a nice golden orange color, just exactly like sweet potatoes. On the top, it has a nice layer of white marshmallow beads to resemble marshmallows. And this is scented like brown sugar and sweet potatoes. It smells amazing, but off to the start, it has sort of a wet residue. I found regardless of this wet residue, it was quite stretchy, but kind of had like a rubbery texture, just kind of like store-bought slimes. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but store-bought slimes kind of have like that bouncy texture, like it, it could be like you could throw it off the wall and it would kind of like bounce back at you. Well, that's kind of what this slime had to me. It would like bounce back at me, but it wouldn't inflate at all. It was quite interesting to me just because it felt like the texture that would inflate super easily and it, it just felt like it would but it wouldn't. I liked everything aesthetically about the slime, the color, the scent, and even the wet texture wasn't bad for me but the fact that like the rubberiness when you stretched it, it just it off-putted me. I didn't like how it didn't even inflate at all. Like I tried so so hard to inflate this and I couldn't, and usually these kind of textures you could, so I, I don't understand why or if that's just me, but in my personal preference, I'm gonna have to give this slime a three out of five sharks, just because it's honestly not my type of slime, and I wanna be honest with you guys.
All right, so this is croissants. I have to say that I love the label she puts on everything. They look exactly like the product she's trying to replicate and it makes you want to purchase it more just because of the label itself. I was super excited for this one because I love croissants and I just, I just love them. This container was cracked as well and first pokes in this, it was so soft and I could tell I was going to like it already. It has a creamy color to it and smells like sweet Hawaiian rolls. And I love the scent of sweet Hawaiian rolls. I knew from touching this slime, this was going to be one of my favorites just because it was super stretchy and so soft to touch. This one was easily inflatable and gave great pops and it was great for hand play. You could even put this on one of your hands and play with it and it wouldn't get sticky just because it was a perfect texture. I absolutely love her butter slimes and I love the feeling of the slime. It just feels great. It has great sizzles when inflated and a super great scent and stretchable. I have to give the slime a 5 out of 5 sharks and if you want a slime from Sonoria Slimes, I suggest grabbing one of her butter slimes. Next up is macaroni and cheese. The sound of this slime just like, oh, it sounds so good because I've never had a cheese slime and I was expecting a cheese scent, but it's a mango scent. This is a thick and glossy slime and just has a little speckle on the top of it, which is fine. But I found that this was not a thick and glossy slime. Instead, I could tell that this slime had cornstarch in it meaning it turned it more matte when you touched it. So yeah, off the start, it had a glossier hue to it, but then as soon as you started playing with it, it turned super matte because there was cornstarch and it felt like quite a bit of it. Also because of this, it took away a lot of stretchiness because the cornstarch seems to rip slime more than others. So when you have lots of cornstarch, your slime will rip more. And I felt like that took away the feeling to this slime because even when I warmed it up, it would still rip. I would love the fact that this had a matte texture to it if it were cheese scent because cheese to me would have like more of like a matte thing going on with it. But because this was mango scented, it kind of just depressed me. And I, I would have rather this be a mango slime than a cheese slime smelt like mango if you understand what I mean. I know it sounds so picky. I'm not trying to be picky, but it's just, it messes with my brain. Other than that, I thought it was a great slime. It fluffed up pretty good and gave good sizzles and bubble pops. Other than that, I would have to rate this slime a four to five sharks and it is a pretty cool feeling, honestly.
Alright, so this is Sanria's Mashed Potatoes. Off the start, like I said, I love the labels. The slime labels are great. Unfortunately, all mine kind of came banged up just because I think they're just flying in that box everywhere, so they're kind of scratched up everywhere, which sucks, but oh well. This is a nice, like, off-white color with little green flakes on the top and looks exactly like mashed potatoes. This is scented like cornbread and to me actually smells like mashed potatoes. Just like the sweet potato slime, this had a very wet residue and a rubbery texture. As well as the sweet potatoes, I tried to inflate her icy slimes as much as I could because this was an icy slime texture as well as her sweet potatoes. When trying to inflate these, they just don't do it and I don't understand why because they are very stretchy but rubbery. Instead, I tried inflating this so hard because I was just on a mission to do it and it actually like deflated from the beginning of me taking it out. There was actually less slime when I put it back in than there was to start with. I'm not sure, I couldn't even tell you why this happens, I have no idea why, but to me it just is very off-putting and I don't like that feeling just because usually with a wet feeling, as long as they can inflate a lot and get super poofy, I don't even care if it's wet. But this was wet the entire time and it just was not my kind of slime to be honest, so I'm gonna have to give it a 2 out of 5 sharks. This is pie crust and it has a little Pillsbury door boy on the top of it. I like the little bubbles on the top and upon opening I knew it was a nice pretty creamy crust color and this was one of her cloud cream textures which I hear a lot of good things about them so I was excited to try it. Upon first pokes it was so soft and I could tell that I was going to like it. The scent on this is pie crust. I just wish it was a little stronger just because I found it pretty weak. Other than that, it was a super soft texture all the way around. It wasn't one of those cloud creams that have a lot of snow in them or anything. This one doesn't have a whole bunch. I feel like it has more of a clay to it than uh, snow in it. I didn't know if this slime was going to inflate or not and it didn't really inflate, but it was super soft and easy to play with and had great hand play. It would be a great table slime when you're stressed out, studying, have it on your table while you're doing it. I recommend her cloud cream slimes and I think you should try it out because it's a complete different texture than usual. I will give this slime a four and a half out of five sharks.
Okay, last but not least is apple pie filling. Now this was a nice golden color topped off with jelly cubes and a surprise of sugar scrub beads. Upon opening, I was shocked with the scent because it was not apple pie or anything to do with apples. It was actually root beer. Now, I feel like this slime just should have been root beer and not called apple pie. This is just my personal preference. I, it just really messes with my head when I'm trying to play with apple pie filling but scented like root beer. I really don't like things being completely opposite of what they should be. I feel like as long as they are similar, it won't bug me whatsoever but it bugs me when they're completely opposite. Other than that, I absolutely love this slime. The jelly cubes crunched so easy and the sugar scrub beads gave it that sizzle and pop it needs. I actually found that this was my favorite slime from this package, but because of the scent, I can't give it that. I found when she added the sugar scrub beads and the jelly cube, it was way better of a slime and it had more to it, you know? It fluffed up so well and gave just incredible sizzles when fluffed up, completely changed color, and was so crunchy. It was not sticky either, even with squishing the jelly cubes. And you know what? I just love this slime but I'm going to have to give it a four to five sharks just because the scent just threw me off too much. Mako's Picks, number seven. Mashed Potatoes, number six. Sanria's Yams, number five. Macaroni and Cheese, number four. Pumpkin Pie, number three. Pie Crust, number two. Apple pie filling and topping. Number one, croissants. Overall, I think Sonria Slimes needs to add more to her slimes. I find that her labels are great, but I find these slimes are pretty plain, to be honest with you. This is just my opinion, but I feel like she could change a couple things and maybe make slimes based around the scent of that slime that she's recreating. I know she does a lot of food slimes and I've heard that she doesn't like savory scents, but I was expecting more from her slimes. Overall, I think she has good priced slimes and I think she needs to work on packaging. But if you like these slimes and you like the look of them, you'll know yourself if you'll want to purchase from her. Anyway, if you like slime content, just like slime review videos, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Also, smash that like button. It helps my video do better. And leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of my review. Am I being too harsh or is it okay to feel like this? Would a different scent of that slime bug you too? Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.